on this channel we only give you updates that concerns chelsea and chelsea alone Hi yeah, guys, good morning to all of you um, and happy weekend. Today is our day. Today is Burnley versus Chelsea because all road leads to Tough Moor. That is Burnley, they are grand now. All road leads to Tough Moor today. Today, now we go know whether we go climb or we go still remain where we day or we go drop because games the way they today go determine if we we'll go further or if we we'll drop. And Chelsea to also de decide their own fate by winning or by losing or by drawing. You get me? If Chelsea should draw, they will drop to, let me say, 14 or 15 points. If they should lose, they will drop to 15 po uh, position. But if they should win, there is a probability of them climbing to ninth position. Just in case our rival team not do the need for today to win. You get me? So Chelsea versus Burnley, or let me say Burnley versus Chelsea, is not going to be an easy game because already Burnley is fighting relegation. They are 18 on the table and they are fighting. They are trying to see if they can secure the three points from Chelsea today so that they can back out from that position ahead of Luton Town. So um, Chelsea, Burnley. Well, so far so good. If you check our record with Burnley, it has always been easy which for chelsea you understand if you check our last five game meeting with burnley we have won about four they have draw one you understand they need the near us then if you have to check total games played we have played about 17 matches with burnley we have won them 11 and they have draw we have won them 11 draw five then why they have won one you understand like they don't win us only once so burnley to Ch burnley and chelsea it's going to be easy for me if the boys do the needful because I want Chelsea to secure that three points so that's 11 points so that they can push her down. Because if you go to the Premier League table, we have um, Manchester United, uh, Crystal Palace and nine in ninth position with 11 points, uh, Manchester United are nine at 10th position with nine points, Chelsea are 11th position with eight points, Nottingham Forest are eight points in 12th position. Fulham at 13 position with eight points. You understand? Then Brentford at seven, uh, 14 with seven points. Wolves are seven with 15 points. Now, you see all these clubs now. Let me even give you the full gist about this matter. If Chelsea should lose to Burnley today, if Chelsea should lose to Burnley and Manchester United win, they will be pushing ahead of Crystal Palace and these guys, and uh, what they call it. Um, they'll be pushing ahead of Crystal Palace and maybe they'll be dragging points with uh, Newcastle. You understand? Then, but if they should lose, they will drop. You understand? But if Nottingham Forest should win their match today, they will be ahead of Chelsea because Nottingham Forest is playing against Crystal Palace where they are ahead of Manchester and Crystal Palace their ninth position. But if Crystal Palace should drop points for Nottingham Forest, Nottingham Forest should win. Nottingham Forest will be 11 points. And if Chelsea should win Burnley, Chelsea will be 11 points. But the only thing that Chelsea will use to get to that position now is go different. And now the last game be this. Then the next thing will go come the international break. Because for next week, match no good day. Now the 21st of this month, now we will play Arsenal. You get me? So, whatever Chelsea is doing today, Chelsea just have to secure the three points so that they can be 11, 11 points. Then, maybe, let's say, one of them, either Crystal Palace or Manchester United, any of them feel draw point. Because if Manchester United should draw today, Manchester United should be 10 points and Chelsea should be ahead of Manchester United. If Crystal Palace should draw, Crystal Palace will be 12 points. And maybe them and Crystal uh, Newcastle with the drag points. You understand? That means Chelsea will be tenth, while Manchester United will be, be will be below us. But Brentford too, they fight their way out because now them way Manchester they play today, it's not going to be that easy for Manchester United. You understand? That is why Chelsea need to carry that pressure from Fulham. The way they played Fulham, they should use it against Burnley. You understand? I, I don't want to see anything different from what they did, did to Fulham 
and what they will do to these people uh Burnley today i know that company job is at stake also because it seems where the table the league table starts now 2019 18 now they always battle for and if you continue like this Burnley free soccer so he need to secure a job and so far so good it already they see say Chelsea now want to be saying any small thing they always come one show their power but for a few games now we don't play at least don't show them say yes we feel still we see them on the ground we still do something so Burnley should not come with such pressure for us and also Chelsea should not underestimate what Burnley can do or they should not look down on Burnley in respect of the fact, say they does the come back, come out from championship, come premiership. You understand? They should not look down on Burnley because you see those this particular this kind of club. The way we always start saying, now walk over, now dance a bit with Chelsea, just like the way we talked about uh, uh, Nottingham Forest. Now Nottingham Forest is walk over. I remember I said something about that, but now then why else one zero call lock defense game end? You understand? So we should not we should not um, be so relaxed when it comes to Burnley and also um, Pochettino should play the needful. When I say play the needful, he should play the right players. Uh, coming from the goalkeeper side, if he's to play that game, he should play what he played used used against um, Fulham because those boys were more attacking, they were more pressing than the people that came in second half. You understand? If possible, Seth, if you want to overdo this game, let's say you want to overdo it, just say because of you want winning. Bring Broja and Jackson, the two of them should play at the same time. But it should me say you no know, go if play the two of them at the same time. You understand? You know, play the two of them together. But let's say Jackson will start today. You understand? Jackson will start. Then we should be having um um up front there, we should be having Mudrick, Mudrick, um, Jackson and Palmer. I don't want to see Sterling in my starting lineup today. I don't want. I want go. I don't want somebody that want to drag for go. I don't want it. I want somebody that want to create chances for my team to get goals so that we can get our three points and go. I don't want somebody that is looking for how to score goals so that he can become top goal scorer in Chelsea. I don't want it. I'm not disputing the fact that Sterling is not a good player. He's a good player, but since we don't say. Now even one become highest goal scorer, and since he get that mindset, to release ball give a a a, a colleague them for pitch where we say they the right position to score, you know go do them. So make him first sit down with himself fish football first for bench. Maybe second half they bring him in to use slow, bring down the pace of the game down. Then we should be having Kopama, then Jackson and Mudrik. So far so good. Mudrik has been top notch. Mudrik has been pushing seriously. Mudrik is trying to be at the top of his game. And I'm seeing it every day. You understand? So Mudrik will be available. Then the midfield we should be having um, uh, Kasaido, Galaga, Enzo. Kasaido, Galaga, Enzo. Galaga has been fantastic. He has been doing well, very well. Just like I always talk, when they do well, praise them too. But when they do bad, we'll come back here to tear them with mouth. You get me? So Galaga has been fantastic. Casaido has been trying his best. He's trying to adapt to the nature of Chelsea. How Chelsea operates. He's trying his best because he never played for big club before. Now the first time they play for big club, you understand? Then Enzo too, normal. He knows what to do because definitely they all of them are hungry for these three points. If Chelsea should win today, go become three win in a, in a row. You understand as you then go like that the entire international break come back you will get that mentality say oh more we win our last game so we continue like that we'll put that pressure for us now buddy you understand then then after that the defense the defense um okay my gusto is not back and Rich james has been suspended so they, they none of them will play that means we'll be left with Kukurela in that same right position. Then we'll left with Kobe to play the left wing back. And we'll be left with Disasi and Thiago Silva in the center back position. Why we'll be left with Sanchez, our clean sheets man, at the back. Just like I said, I said that Sanchez should be careful. You understand? Because people they watch him, clubs they watch him, players they watch him, oppositions they watch how in the carry lane passes. 
And if they watch them steadily, they know say on one angle way they always put in pass to go the catch and there they score them. You understand? He should be careful with those kind of passes he normally gives to the defender or his players. Sometimes the pass is not the day accurate. You should just be careful. You understand? So maybe those set of people should play, bring in pressure, bring in goals, produce goals. Once they produce at least one or two goals, first half, second half, course of playing, and you want to remove any of them. If you are removing Palmer or let's say uh, Mudrik, at least somebody like I am missing or uh, this guy, Ugo uh, Chuku and Maker should be coming in. Or if you want to lock the game, in, bring in Leslie Ugo Chuku. Then you play midfield football. You lock everywhere. You understand? You lock everywhere. Then we continue with midfield football. Why Jackson in the off front? Or if you still want more goals, he come out the need, come out especially if you come out. Either he come out, uh, if you want this game, come out Enzo. Bring in uh, this guy. We'll go uh, Chuku Emeka. Bring in Chuku Emeka. Then come out uh, this team. Uh, what's his name? Jackson, in case tiredness don't come. Bring in Broja. Then let's see what Chuku Emeka, Jackson, uh, Chuku Emeka, Broja, Mudrik, and Palmer can do up front. Then maybe let's say around 17 minutes, let's say 17 minutes, when Chelsea don't see say, the winning don't they secure, he can bring in Rem Sterling to come and fight for, his, for his, fight his way to score his goal since he wants to become highest goal scorer in Chelsea. You understand? So that is it. Because looking at the premiership table is not funny. Everybody is battling seriously. If Brentford should ma win Manchester United today, there will be um, 10 points. If I'm not mistaken, there will be 10 points ahead of uh, Fulham, ahead of Nottingham Forest. You understand? And if Chelsea should, should lose, they will be ahead of Chelsea. And Chelsea will drop down to 13 or 14. Uh, or even 15. You get me? So Chelsea needs to win. So that we know that we did up there. Yeah, nothing consign us, consign down again. Nothing consign us, consign the second part of the table. Because the goal is to go to the Champions League. And if we can't secure some certain win in the first quarter of the uh, Premiership right now, now in the second quarter, I want to secure win. When we say everybody will come become die mini states, when we say pressure will come, they come. Now, now we need to they chop all those small, 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 small points so that we go find our way for better position for the Premiership table. At least third and third and second, or second and third. So just imagine, say after everything, we qualify for Champions League. Joy go they display as their body, and once they see themselves for Champions League, they go bring out their, they go play, they go play because they want, they want win them. Who know why win Champions League? Do you know the joy I I I I, I, I do, you, do you know the joy I have that day that Chelsea won the Champions League against Man City? So we'll come on trophy for Man City in hand. Ha, that night. You see that joy and 2012 own with Bayern Munich for their own grand. I never feel that kind of joy for Chelsea before. You see that joy. No, leave her. Leave her. Every day I go on YouTube, I watch that highlight. You see that 2012 final with Bayern? I they watch the highlights every time. Sometimes when Chelsea lose like this, I want to find something I will just console myself. I will go find one of those matches, then tough match we will play, we will win. Like Baka. You understand? Baka, Munich, Man City. You understand? So Chelsea need to win whatever they are doing today so that uh, we'll be at the top. <laughs> so that we'll get mad before uh, the international break. You understand? So guys, um, do it to drop your thoughts and your concern and your own preview aspect of the game on the comment section. And please don't forget to like this video, share, subscribe, follow this page because on this channel, I only give you updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. And my prediction for this game is 3-0. 2-1. 3-0, 2-1. Thank you very much.